Hi, everybody. I'm really pleased to be here with this great group of people to announce just a, another part of our strategy to address the opioid and heroin addiction and overdose problem in Pennsylvania. And this is one more, uh, just one new part of the uh, effort that I have to address this addiction uh, and overdose problem. Um, I want to save lives. That's, that's the bottom line. And last year, 2014, we lost 2,400 people to drug overdose. I think heroin overdose, actually, in Pennsylvania. That's more than we lost in automobile accidents in 2014. This is a huge problem. And we have to remember this is a disease. Addiction is a, is a disease just like cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and we need to treat it as such. Giving Capitol Police naloxone is just one more part of this effort to combat the deadly effects of overdose, drug overdose in Pennsylvania. The Capitol Police, as you know, they're an accredited police force. I mean, just today, I think you responded to an incident at, at Hack, so your, your responsibilities go well beyond this building. Uh, and uh, they're an important force. They have been trained, uh, all the officers in the Capitol Police Force have been trained in the use of naloxone. And again, naloxone is a drug that when it's administered to somebody who is dying from an overdose, it immediately, immediately counteracts counter the effects of, of that overdose. So it brings the person back to life. We've saved, I think, over 450 lives in Pennsylvania since 2014, since Act, I think it was 139, went into, into effect. So this is a big deal. This is part of this broader effort to address this problem in Pennsylvania. Uh, let me just point out a few of the other things we've, we've done in this regard. We have the ABC MAP program uh, that is a prescription drug monitoring program. And the reason for that is because one of the problems in heroin addiction, for example, uh, is that people start off uh, with a, a, an addiction to painkillers, prescription painkillers. And when those prescriptions run out, Heroin becomes an alternative, uh, and a lot of addiction, a growing amount of addiction in Pennsylvania comes from that. This uh, prescription drug monitoring program helps doctors understand uh, when serial prescriptions are, are being sought. Uh, we have an interagency heroin task force. The Pennsylvania State Police uh, have been carrying naloxone. Uh, Physician General, you'll hear from her uh, in a minute, uh, Levine has also given a statewide prescription to 12.7 million Pennsylvanians so that everybody can be given naloxone. There is a prescription. And drug stores and drug change pharmacies uh, have uh, voluntarily uh, agreed to take on naloxone and be willing to, uh, are willing to give prescriptions. CVS, I think, is the biggest of those at this point. So we've done a lot of things. Uh, we have, uh, I've proposed uh, in the budget, more funding for the Department of Drug and Alcohol Programs, more funding for the Department of Human Services. And the Department of Health has already received a uh, million dollars from the federal government. Uh, in funding to address this, this problem. So adding the Capitol Police to this overall effort is just one part of that broader effort to address a really big problem in Pennsylvania, and that is drug addiction and, and overdose. So we'll talk more about this, and we have some people who are going to talk about this now, and then we'll come back for some questions. But let me turn this over to Secretary Kurt Topper. Kurt? Thank you, Governor. Good afternoon. I'm Kurt Topper, Secretary of General Services. I'd like to take a second to recognize a few folks in the room. Uh, Deputy Secretary Julian Gaudian uh, is actually in the back of the room. Uh, Capitol Police Deputy Superintendent Kevin Brown is here today, and Superintendent Joe Jacob, who's unable to attend. Um, I want to thank them for their ongoing leadership and the dedication of every officer under their command. This beautiful Capitol complex and the surrounding community are protected by a forward-thinking, exceptionally well-run, and a fully accredited police department. As Governor Wolf mentioned, over the past two years, Capitol Police has seen a significant increase in medical emergencies involving heroin and opioid overdoses. We're responding to this trend by taking action. In November, uh, all Pennsylvania Capitol Police officers took the half-hour mandatory online training provided by the Pennsylvania Chiefs of Police to administer naloxone. This online training was followed by an additional 45-minute training on how to identify potential overdose victims 
how to use the auto injector units, and how to seek additional medical assistance. All officers now carry the injectors, and as new officers are brought onto the force, they will undergo the same training. The injectors are easy to use. They have recorded voice prompts that can guide you through the process. Each is good for one use. You want to see how it works? So basically, it works like this. Um, this is one of the auto injector units. To activate it, we pull it open. This trainer contains no needle or drug. It's a trainer, obviously. We pull the Two inch red inch tab. Place black end against outer thigh. Then press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. Place it on your thigh or the thigh of the victim. So it's that simple. This trainer may be reused for training purposes. Repeat Thanks. the red safety guard and white outer case. So the cost per unit is approximately $200. This and trainer may <laughs> And I, I want to express our gratitude to Kaleo Pharmaceuticals for providing a $20,000 grant to fund this initial life-saving deployment. We're pleased to add this new capability to the Capitol Police Force's ongoing efforts to protect and maintain the well-being of all visitors, workers, and local residents. Ongoing efforts such as active shooter training, crime prevention, and Know Your Rights seminars. Now I'd like to introduce and welcome to the podium Department of Health Secretary Karen Murphy. Thanks. Good afternoon. And thank you for Governor Wolf for spearheading this very important public health issue. This, as I've said before, I've been in health care for many, many years, and this is the worst public health crisis that we have experienced. Naloxone is just one of the tools that we are trying to make widely available to prevent death from drug overdose. We believe that, as Governor Wolf had said, hundreds of lives have been spared across the Commonwealth for first responders and family members administering naloxone. We are pleased that another law enforcement group will now carry naloxone right here and protect those visiting the Capitol. Our goal at the Department of Health is to work across all of state government, partnering with our agencies to attack this disease epidemic on multiple fronts. And Governor Wolf pointed out to, that, to you that we're attacking a disease epidemic, and it, we will treat it as such. Together, across agencies, we are focusing on addiction prevention, promoting the expansion of evidence-based treatment, and also saving lives using naloxone. We are working ex expeditiously to improve our data collection methodology, train physicians, and draft guidelines for prescription and set up referrals for patients who have the disease of addiction and require support. We believe working together can make a positive impact on the tragic reality of everyday life for those who have the disease of addiction and families of those that have the disease of addiction. Thank you for all being here today and allowing us to communicate this very important public service message I'd now like to introduce Dr. Levine, Physician General. Thank you, Secretary Murphy. I'm very pleased to have had the opportunity to work on this very important issue in collaboration with all of our state agency colleagues, Secretary Murphy, who just spoke, Secretary Topper, Secretary Tennis, and Chairman Shapiro, under Governor Wolf's leadership over the last year. It is significant that under the leadership of Secretary Topper and Superintendent Jacob, the P Pennsylvania Capitol Police are now equipped to carry the life-saving medication, naloxone. The latest statistics from the Pennsylvania Coroner's Report are, are chilling. The report the group released last spring and recently updated demonstrated that as many as seven people a day or more in our state are dying from drug overdoses. Naloxone is a life-saving medication that reverses overdoses caused by an opioid drug such as prescription painkillers or heroin. Naloxone is safe and effective. It does not cause someone to get high. It is not addictive in any way. It has one use 
and one use only to reverse the fatal effects of an opioid drug overdose. It is a medication that can save the life of someone overdosing from prescription painkillers or heroin, giving them the needed opportunity to get treatment. It can also be used to reverse the effects of an accidental drug poisoning, which can happen in the elderly if they forget how much medicine they have taken, or a child who gets into the medicine cabinet. The public health crisis of opioid-related overdoses affects all segments of our society, regardless of age, regardless of sex, race, or socioeconomic considerations. Almost one year ago now, Act 139, or David's Law, took effect. It allowed for the administration of naloxone by law enforcement, first responders, family members and friends, or others in a position to assist someone in an opioid-related overdose. In April, I signed a standing order prescription that gave first responders, such as the Capitol Police and also the Pennsylvania State Police and other municipal police departments the ability to obtain naloxone. It is our goal to ensure that first responders have this tool available to help them save lives and give those individuals a chance to get the treatment that they need. At this time, I am very pleased to introduce my colleague and a leader in the effort to combat opioid abuse, Secretary of the Department of Drug and Alcohol Programs, Gary Tennis. Thanks, Rachel. Good afternoon. Um, we are, as Secretary Murphy said, in the midst of the worst health care crisis in any of our lifetimes. I want to just take a moment to thank Governor Wolf for his strong and powerful leadership in really making this one of the very, very top priorities of this administration to turn this around. We know this disease affects one out of four families. The people that are dying are not somebody over there. Just to, I would bet that just about everybody in this room and all of your viewers know somebody who knows somebody who has family members that are suffering with this disease. And suffer, by, I mean, by suffering, uh, they suffer in silence. It's a stigmatized disease, and it's time we turn that around. Uh, it's, I also feel proud, having come out of 26 years in law enforcement, I feel proud to stand here with our Capitol Police, and I feel proud of the many other police departments across the state that have opted to really take the highest vision of protect and serve and expanded it to include carrying naloxone and administering it to save the lives of those who overdose from this drug. Uh, these people that they're saving are our sons, our daughters, our brothers, sisters, our loved ones. Um, it's absolutely critical. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about one moment is warm, the warm handoff piece. We are working vigorously to, with our emergency departments to try to come up with the best protocols so that when somebody survives an overdose, we take that immediate next step to get that individual into treatment. It's critical that we save the life. Our success rate for treating people who have died is zero. We've got to keep them alive, but then we have to be vigorous and robust about getting them out of the emergency department, not asking them, just directing them like you would a heart attack victim, taking them to the next step to start them in treatment. We know that treatment works. We have 23 million Americans in, in, 23 million Americans in recovery who've gotten better from this disease. We know that it works. So I just want to close for those families that have a loved one, whether they're taking prescription opioids, whether they have someone who's addicted to opioids or heroin, uh, go get naloxone now. The Physician General has signed the prescription. It's good for everybody. Your insurance will cover it. If your drugstore doesn't have it, they can get it for you within 24 hours. Go get it. It might mean the difference between life and death for your loved one. Uh, and while you're at it, while you're thinking about it, get them into treatment. Put the pressure on, get them into treatment. It works. They can have a rich, full life of recovery. And it's, your, it's really on you to, to do everything you can to get them there. Thank you. And I want to take a, now I want to introduce uh, our chair of Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency, Josh Shapiro, who I'm very proud to work with. Worked with him when he was a legislator, and he has always been an innovative leader in, uh, in really enlightened thinking about criminal justice issues. So it's my honor to introduce uh, Chairman Shapiro. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Tennis. Three quick points. This is a huge public health crisis, and I don't use that term lightly. There are three things we need to do to combat that. We need to collaborate. We need access 
to this drug and, and other things that will help save lives. And number three, we need leadership. First on collaboration. At the Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency, and clearly here in the Wolf Administration, there is collaboration between law enforcement, collaboration between social and human services providers. When we bring both sets of individuals to the table, we can better understand the crisis we face, and we can better deal with it. Second, on access. We know that we have this life-saving drug. The key is getting it into the hands of the people that need it most, our first responders. Governor Wolf and his team have ensured today that it will be hands in the hands of the Capitol Police. At PCCD, through a collaborative funding effort with the Chiefs Association of Pennsylvania, we have made sure that municipal police departments all across our Commonwealth have access to naloxone, to Narcan, this life-saving drug, and we still have doses available. And so municipal police departments across Pennsylvania should be reaching out to the Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency in order to gain access to these doses so we can get them in their hands in their patrol cars. Third, it takes leadership. It takes someone to stand up and recognize that this is a crisis. This is a serious issue, and it requires someone to pull all those pieces together. That someone is Governor Wolf. It is clear from the efforts that he has led how serious he takes this challenge, how he understands it's going to require a multidisciplinary approach to solving it, and today is yet another step demonstrating his leadership to combat the heroin and opioid crisis across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Governor, we appreciate your efforts, and it's my pleasure to bring you up to the podium again now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Josh. I mean, <coughs> Chairman Shapiro. Uh, I, I am really pleased to be standing here with so many dedicated people uh, in this fight, and it's great to have the Capitol Police Force uh, join uh, the front lines in the fight against this disease.